go without the wand today. Because I'm magical without a wand. Hey guys, I am Harry Potter YouTuber Victoria McLean and welcome back to my channel. Now today is a little bit interrupted by my giant bottle of water. Hang on. Two minutes, yeah. And my phone. I seriously thought it's freaking rum out. And my glasses because I can't see a thing. And we are going to do the unboxing for the new carrot shop. Potions Advent Calendar 2023. Oh yeah, lots of noise in there. Now I covered this, was it February of this year? I went to the spring fair and I thought I'd wear something sparkly for you guys. See, it's all sparkle, yeah. Um, I went to the spring fair in the NEC in Birmingham and they had, the carrot shop had this on display and I made a proper kind of uh, about it. So if you haven't seen that video, then check out the link above because I show you this calendar, but it is literally just been released. I am so excited. This is like the most I've ever spent on a calendar. It's 79 pound. 99 pence, I think. I will put the link down below. But is it worth that money? This is why I'm doing the video. This video isn't sponsored by anybody. And I really want to, I'm very excited about it. But I really want to kind of look at it. And is it worth 80 quid? 80 pound. That is a lot of money for almost anybody, right? So I'm paying in installments with there for this because there's no way I can afford 80 quid in one go on a calendar. But I was so excited when I saw it advertised in the spring fair. It was like, if I'm going to get any calendar this year, it's going to be that one because I need it. And I've got it and I'm going to show you guys step by step what is in it. So let's cut the plastic off. Let's stick pig on. Okay, so, oh, it's very shiny. It's very shiny. It's very shiny. Okay, so what got my attention with this calendar? is that it comes with the lock and key, right, to close it afterwards. But the key is the flying key, and it's a necklace. That's amazing. Um, and obviously the gold lock. So I don't know what it's gonna be like, I don't know what the quality's gonna be like. The carrot shop is normally incredibly good because I'm addicted to the carrot shop, right? Not just this, but let me show you my latest buy from the carrot shop. So it's in a little box like this. It's not in like a proper fancy box, even though it cost a fortune. This was 120 pound, I think I managed to find it for online. But when I saw him, I saw him a while ago and then Janice and Natalie shared it on again on our group chat. And it was like, yeah, I, I've got to have it. I can't not have this. This is so cute. I love Mandrake. So this had to be done, right? He is just the cutest thing. Right, first of all, Ignore my nails, they are horrific, yeah? It's because I just don't have time to do them at the moment, okay? So they are really bad, like really, really, really bad, like bad, okay? So ignore them, all right? So isn't he just the cutest, okay? And he comes out of his little pot as well, all right? It keeps trying to focus on me, so I apologize for that, okay? But it is just the cutest little, necklace it's sterling silver and it is just adorable and the fact that you can take the mandrake out of its pot as well is just the cutest thing so i wore it the other day and it was okay um but the chain kept getting caught around his little arms so it was really easy to undo it but you can't really do it when you're wearing it so it what well, i left it like that because it wasn't causing any problems but i left it like that and when i got home then i took it i took the chain off his arms but they do get like twisted a little bit but other than that i really love it i really do i have got so many carrot shop pieces so spending 80 pound on this was really a no-brainer for me because i'm obsessed with the carrot shop so let's get into this right i've talked enough so let's take the packaging off so what I love about this is the, the cabinet itself, yes, it's cardboard, but it's quite a thick and sturdy cardboard. The cabinet itself is, is you can reuse this. So the padlock obviously locks these up again, you know, so it's not like you have to throw it away. This is actually a cabinet like that you can keep. So I love the fact that it's got Wizarding World on the side. What's the back like? Oh, I like the back. The back says the Wizarding World, Harry Potter, Advent Calendar, Jewellery and Accessories. So let's open the calendar. 
Oh, I'm going to tip it back because it's falling out. Oh my God. Let's go out over a little bit. Potions, were they? No. How cool is that? And these are actually doors. These little glass vials or plastic vials, they're actually doors. And these little potions down here are actually doors. Six, eleven, and eight. That's genius. And obviously, you've got all the little drawers here as well. So I think there's 24 doors so obviously once you pull them out there's more at the back as well so these come out i don't know if i can do it to show you oh yes i can there we are so then you've got more doors behind <laughs> that is so cool i didn't expect it like that there's a picture of it but i didn't expect it to be like that what's the idea and there's more doors behind this as well that is absolutely freaking genius right so let's let's get straight into it i know i normally do the what's happened today in the wizarding world but i think this is going to be a long video so i'd rather just save that for another day and just get straight into it really so we're looking for number one so one is here oh my god look at that how wicked is that? That is absolutely mad. Okay, so we have, I think this is the padlock. This feels very heavy. So I'm going to open it for you guys so you can see it first. Okay, again, please ignore my nails. They will be redone. Oh no, there's a chain. Oh, is this the necklace and the... Oh! <gasps> oh my God. So we've got the padlock and the key to open the padlock that's what did it for me was seeing this i absolutely loved the idea <gasps> that is so pretty oh let's open it right let's take the plastic off i've got to try this it probably Oh, that's magnetic. Look, it proper works. That's so amazing. Let me clip it to the front so it's all like together so I don't lose it. That is absolutely amazing. And then the chain, the necklace, look how beautiful that is. Oh my God, I love that. Can it go over my head? I know I've already got a necklace on, but it's quite a long chain. So let's wear both of them. <gasps> I love it. Look at that. Isn't that gorgeous? Oh my God. This is so amazing. Right. Okay. So I'm going to pop that back in there. That there for day one. That is amazing. I freaking love that. I absolutely love that so much. The carrot shop are amazing at what they do. They are really are. So number two we're on now. I told you this is going to be a long video. It's only number two. Right, so what have I got? Oh, these are ball. This is a bauble by the looks of it. All right, okay. So it's one you can put a gift in to put in your tree. Let me pop it together because I don't mind the whole gift thing. Oh, that's really cute. So we've got a bauble, which is a cauldron this side. I do love the decorations. And then on the other side then, you've got Wizarding World Harry Potter. So I really love that. And obviously it's easy to come apart if you do decide to put a present in there. So I really love that. That's genius. Absolutely genius. So far, so good. Right, so there are some badge button badges in here. And you know how I feel about button badges. I am not a fan of button badges, but I know they're in here. So let's have a look. So we've got number three. Oh, the test tube. So number three is the first test tube. All right. This is genius. Okay, so we've got a pen. So, what's this one? Okay, hang on. So they're plastic, not glass. It's probably a good thing. P. P for potion, maybe? I'm not sure. 
what do you think it's green so is it p for potion quite possibly so let's pop them they were the first people to bring out the pens with the little dangly bits so they are known for that so number four now so we're into another drawer so i can feel like fabric or something this is like a hair oh, this is, oh oh i love their scrunchies i'm not lying i freaking love their scrunchies i've got the honey jukes one right and i have used that till the elastic has gone really loose i love it i absolutely love it these are really good for your hair so the quality of them is brilliant so because they're like a satin they don't break the hair they don't there's no breakage there so that is just perfect thank you very much so i'm going to pop that back in there that will be my new scrunchie because i've worn the other one out so we're in number five now number five is another drawer i got my glasses on because i can't see things properly as you know so right okay so here we have oh it's meant to be a book i love that look at that isn't that gorgeous so what's inside so let's have a look so this so far so good this calendar is awesome not just for the really good items inside but for the design of the calendar so what's this oh wow i did not expect that it is a Ravenclaw diadem because they were the first people to create the officially licensed diadem jewellery and it is a Christmas decoration. <gasps> That's going to go amazingly with my Christmas tree that I have in here because I have a happy, ha happy Harry Potter Christmas tree. <gasps> I love that so much. So if you're a Raven, a Raven, a Raven, Raven, Ravenclaw, then you're fine. Um, so yeah, so far, so good. What do you guys think so far? We're on door six now. So far, so brilliant. Okay, so we've got number six. I love how they're potion bottles. That is... <laughs> that was a good catch, wasn't it? That is genius, they're potion bottles. Right, so I am looking. Oh, we got a pair of love potion earrings. Oh, very nice. Again, they were the ones that brought out the jewellery of the love potion and so on. They were amazing, the carrot shop. Right, so I'm going to pop them there on my fingers so you can see them. Look at those. Aren't they adorable? Absolutely adorable. I really love those. I've got the Swarovski ones where they're just crystal, crystal like, a, uh, like a, a pink crystal and then obviously um, that's glitter but they're very very pretty in fact I don't know if I prefer to wear those probably because I'm too scared to wear the other ones because they weren't cheap um, right so we're on to number seven now oh number seven another test tube it's a green one this time so we have another test tube so what's inside is it another pen it looks like it doesn't it so let's have a look what's this one okay so we've got an orange pen not so fussed on the colors um personally and this says aloha mora on it so there's the little tag there i did have quite a few of these pens because obviously they do t tend to put them in their calendars which is fair enough i do much prefer the way you guys are delivering it this is genius, absolutely genius. I love the, the the kind of creativity of this calendar. It's so exciting. And even when you're going through them at Christmas, you know, how beautiful is that to put on your table and open it every day to, to see what's next? So I'm very impressed with this so far. So we've got seven, so we've got eight. Where's number eight? Eight is another test, another bottle, potion bottle. Let's try not to drop this one, Victoria. Can't even get it out. There we are. So we've got another potion bottle, a yellow one this time. So I'm going to be nosy. It is a charm. Okay, what does that say? Does it say anything? No, it doesn't say, it doesn't look like it says anything. So no, I don't know what that says. If it says anything, I don't know. Um... But I'm not sure about that. Maybe it's just like a little kind of word or something. So I know that there is a charm bracelet in here somewhere. So that was the first charm. So we're on to nine now, which is another drawer. These drawers are huge. So then we've got another drawer. Okay, so you can see that. 
Oh, it's a lanyard. Oh, I love that. It's a Luna Lovegood, a Luna Lovegood lanyard. Wow, try saying that 10 times fast. Look at that lanyard, isn't that gorgeous? A Luna Lovegood lanyard. That is absolutely brilliant. That's one of my favorite lanyards we've actually ever had. I love that. That's very nice, but I don't use them because I'd be too scared about either getting them dirty or losing them or breaking them. So I don't use them, so that can stay in there. So where's number 10? Number 10 is in the test tube section. However, it is not a test tube. Okay, it is actually a pencil. So we've got a pencil inside, like almost like um spell paper there so i'm going to pop that back so now that i've done all of those i'm going to take them out so what was that that was number 10 so we're on number 11 now now's the time i've got to start looking for them number 11 is another bottle so we've got another bottle here so we have a charm i'll let you see the front of it first all i'm looking at is the wb bit oh is that the hogwarts castle one <gasps> I love that. I absolutely love that. I had a pin of it last year. You can't get enough of those charms. They're so beautiful. So that is stunning. So I'm going to pop that back in the box and then bottle and I'm going to take these ones out because they're all done. And now we are on to the inside of the box itself. So we're going further in now. So which one was that? That was number 11. So number 12 is behind number 11 and it is actually a little box. So let's open it. I worry about these ones. I'm going to rip it or something. So this looks precarious. What's this? Okay, so it feels like a hair clip or something. What's that? Oh, okay. Expelliarmus hair clip. That's cute. That is cute. I quite like that. I wouldn't wear it, but I quite like that. This seems to be more female orientated because obviously, you know, there's all sorts of genders. All the gen all genders love Harry Potter. So I know that um, obviously more people, more women buy jewellery and so on, but guys like to have stuff, you know, that's nice and but maybe they don't want a hair clip or a hairband or, you know, something. So maybe a little bit more versatility perhaps would be nicer. So, I don't know what this is. It feels quite heavy, even though it's tiny. Oh, it's the charm bracelet for those charms. So, and then you've got the top bit there that says Harry Potter on it. So, there's that. So, I'm going to pop that back in the packet. But you get what I mean. So, obviously, the carrot shop do amazing items. But maybe a little bit of, like, versatility might, wouldn't go amiss, if that makes sense. So 15 we're on, so a little box for 15, and then, okay, so this feels like a little charm, um, okay, Expelliarmus, I think that one says, yes it does, so that says Expelliarmus on it, so that's Kelt, do you know what I'm really into at the moment, right, I've started watching Gossip Girl. <laughs> I, I never watch anything like that, right? However, I love Blake Lively. I'm a huge fan of Blake Lively. And, but like, bef you know, before I even heard of Gossip Girl, I didn't even know she was in it until a few years back. And I've started watching, and I think I'm on episode 12 of season one so far, because it's on Netflix. And I'm just like, every five minutes, I just want to put it back on, I want to put it back on. It's really, really good. <laughs> it's really bad. Um, but yeah, I'm really enjoying it. And so Big Bang Theory is still happening. I'm still watching that. I can't not watch it. But yeah, Gossip Girl. <laughs> it's really, really good. Right, okay. So what was I on? 15. 16. 16 is a big one again. So I'm going to put my glasses back on. Oh, what is that? So 16. Oh, it's a bookmark. Okay. Not so fussed on these. But it's a, it's a metal bookmark. Okay, so you pop that in between your pages and then that hangs over the, um, the spine of the book. So it says Expecto Patronum. 
it's almost like all the good stuff was first is that really bad i'm not gonna you know i'm not i'm not gonna lie though this is really nice right we're 17 all right 17 is a little one okay so it's a hairband i think yeah it's a hairband but it's a hairband with the sorting hat on it that's cute i like that i don't know if i'd wear it though that's the thing would i actually wear that feels really strong though i feel really good okay so what's next 18's next where's 18 18 oh i like that 18 looks like that that's really cool i like that um ah. oh it's another hairband the reason why i say that is because it's poking out the other end so what does that one say stupefy it says stupefy or stupid fly as we like to say in this household oh hang on i forgot 13 oh there's more behind no yes oh my god i forgot 13 okay so we forgot 13 i bet you'll be screaming at me going fix you forgot 13 right so we've got a pin badge so there we have lumos so again you know i'm not fussed on but sorry button badges not pin badges i'm not fussed on button badges at all so let's take those out i didn't realize there's more behind so behind those then there's more at the back again there so i'm gonna is there any more behind here no that's oh hang on what's that oh there is okay oh my god this is like just it's like um like you've got to hide everything's hidden you've got to find it okay so what's that one all oh, right that's the last day okay so what was i looking for 19 right 19's here this is genius i freaking love this right okay so this is 19 so i'm going to take this out okay so what's this feels fairly heavy i don't know if i'm gonna drop whatever it is oh is this a necklace i can see a chain okay we got a necklace and it is a little cauldron i will say not very original um only because we've had these before in the last in the last few but for people who haven't actually bought carrot shop calendars before um this this is definitely the one to go for because this has been sensational so far right okay so 20 20 we need now so 20's at the top so we've got 20 i can't believe how many layers there are to this calendar this is amazing so much so i even put my air behind my ears and i don't normally do that uh, so this is a button badge which you know i'm not that fussed on so this says wingardium leviosa it is quite cute mind if it had been a weasley wizard wheeze one though that would have gone straight in my downstairs toilet with all my weasley weasley wizard wheeze stuff so let's pop that back so 21 21's a little dinky box okay so uh, what's this it's a little little oh it's a little bracelet oh that's cute it's a little corded bracelet you pull it to make it tighter so that's it there so it's a bit out of shape not sure how i feel about that it's different so the fact that but it goes obviously goes with the earrings it's very different but i'm not sure how i feel about it would i wear it i don't know maybe it's for like a younger harry potter fan perhaps i mean it's definitely for different ages this is but maybe different genders possibly not so 20 through is a 20 20 22 20 20 20 through i think i said this is another bookmark and it says wingardium leviosa it says wingardium leviosa on it so put that back so 23 23 is a draw ah, i can't get my hand in aha so 23 is a draw okay a tiny little item for a incredibly large drawer okay right so what we got what we got what we got it feels very small so i'm going to take it out oh it's another bracelet okay it's a deathly hallows string bracelet deathly hallows one 
not so fussed on these string bracelets they do feel incredibly flimsy is it meant to be like a like a friendship bracelet -y type thing i don't know right and then the last box we are on the last box everybody that was a toughie couldn't get out so i'm putting the calendar down for a minute and we are in box 24 okay So we are in box 24, the last drawer, the last box. It's better be good. What is it? It's a key ring of a Felix Felicis. Not too fussed on that. Yeah, it's nice, but I'm pretty sure we've had something similar in a past box. So, okay, let me pop this away and then we will talk about this and give you my honest opinion. Okay, so everything is back where it was, apart from obviously the, the padlock and the key there. So obviously I will be playing about with that later. What is my honest opinion about this piece? Okay, so the originality of this is remarkable. Um, as a, a Harry Potter fan and an influencer who has opened so many advent calendars over the years, either sent to me or I've bought myself, this is probably the most original that I can think of. There's no other calendar that has done this. So the very first ones that were sent uh, were Carrot Shop, sorry, that I received were Carrot Shop. And they did the jewellery and the um, accessories calendar. I absolutely loved the jewellery one. The accessory one I found was not worth the £60 that the calendar cost. And that was one of my most viewed video of all time. This one, some of the items and the like, things like this, how original, it, that is just incredible. That is just absolutely amazing. You know, the padlock, the cabinet... The, that is all fantastic you know the fact that they've used potion bottles as actual numbered boxes is just something I never thought of ever I mean look how beautiful that looks and the more you take out the more you seem to find you know it's just stunning and the drawers are going to make a perfect place to put your jewellery this is a proper little jewellery cabinet that you can reuse. And I'm going to happily reuse this. Normally after a, um, a video, not all the time, but sometimes I do throw the boxes away because I just don't have the room to keep them. Obviously all the accessories come out but the boxes themselves get thrown. There is no way on, the pl on this planet that this is going in the bin. This looks incredible. It is so visually beautiful and inside is just adorable and you don't have to um you can repurpose those little tubs and put your own jewelry in each of them you know you don't have to like throw them away or put them somewhere else or you can keep it all together and keep it as it is there's nothing wrong with that you know and wearing the lock it up and then wear the necklace for safekeeping i love this idea it's brilliant as for the actual content some of the items were really beautiful. Again, the flying key, the locket, and so on. But then you had other things that we've already seen in other calendars. Not the same designs, but the same, I should say same, it's not the same items, but the same designs. Like the Felix Felicis key ring. I think that was a pin badge last year. You know, little kind of, little things that they've included, like the bookmarks and it's quite hard unless I could actually look at the video and kind of go oh yeah oh yeah oh yeah oh yeah oh yeah that was similar that was similar oh yeah we've had that before that we've had that before I know that we've had that before that we've had something very similar to that before and I just want more originality I don't I, I, it sounds really greedy but I, I you know you've given me a calendar that looks like this you know I've paid 80 pound for a calendar that looks like this and I would say 60% of it was beautiful and very well done and incredibly stunning but then 40% of it again originality and more kind of adverse diversity with the items I think is badly needed because not all genders want to wear sparkly jewellery or jewellery in general so 
something a little bit more diverse I think would be far more appropriate but as for the cost I, I, is this calendar worth it hell yes it was hell yes this calendar was worth it this calendar is freaking amazing I make I'm opening so many calendars across like the f last five years I, you know, I see everything that goes into each calendar that I obviously receive and I t mentally take into my, into my mind and I remember what certain things are. But you guys might not have had these items before. You guys not might have collected as many calendars as I have. If you're going to buy a calendar this year, you need this one. Yeah? This one is freaking awesome. I mean, how can you not want a calendar that looks like a freaking potions cabinet? And it's not massive. It's not humongous. And if you buy it on certain websites, you can pay for it in installments. If you pay for it now, by Christmas, if you buy it now, by Christmas, you would have paid it off. I absolutely love this calendar. I absolutely freaking love this calendar. And I love the necklace. This is what got me in the first place was this necklace. I love it. I absolutely love it. Honestly, this calendar is so worth it. It's a lot of money, but it's repurposable. The items in it are usable and actually very nice. Yeah, my advice is get the calendar. Absolutely get the calendar. The links will be down below. I couldn't find it any cheaper than $79.99. However, as I said, in most places you can pay in installments, which is what I'm doing with Menkind. So I think I'm paying over four installments because that is a lot of money. So I am incredibly happy with this calendar. I really love it. So definitely think about getting it, yeah? It is really, really nice. So anyway, let me know what you think of this calendar. Your opinion might be completely different to mine, but I'd love to hear your thoughts. Please remember to stay magical. Until next time, take care. I love you all and I'll chat to you very soon. my content take a look at this video right here or this video right here don't forget to like and subscribe